Hi! So, today I'm going to be filming a makeup tutorial. And it's just going to be kind of like I'm going out for dinner or kind of just like a nighttime kind of look, but yeah, not a sm typical smoky eye. Kind of more appropriate for like, you know, you can wear it in the daytime if you want to. But I kind of would wear it more of a nighttime since I am a teenager. And yeah. So, first thing I'm going to do is actually I already moisturized my face with my Olay Fresh Effects Long Live Moisture Satin Care Moisturizer. I already moisturized my with this Aeropostale Balm. Oops, cherry. And now, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm going to do conceal my eyes and any imperfections with this Rimmel Match Perfection um, highlighter. And my color is Ivory. She's the lightest color. I think the now the new packaging is um, it's called Light. And yeah, so I'm just put that underneath my eyes. I don't any imperfections because my skin is so pale. It's kind of for I guess for people with darker skin tone it would ooh, I don't know what's going on it would kind of like highlight the imperfections but I don't really have any because my skin is relatively really good so I'm just going to do that all over my face I actually re-bought another one of these in the old packaging because at Target Canada they're like $4 now and I love them because they're like $7 usually and yes beautifulness not, I usually wear this concealer every day, but lately I've been not wearing concealer every day just because my skin has been acting up and kind of it looks really good now actually. I'm really proud, but yeah, it has been acting up lately and I haven't worn makeup for like the entire week and my skin was just cleared up so quickly. So, definitely learn my lesson not to wear makeup all the time, but yeah, so I'm just gonna take my underneath my eyes where I put it I'm just going to rub it out with or tap it out it's right to tap out your concealer with my ring finger or your ring finger you know too <laughs> I'll put some over here because I have a lot of darkness right near my nose I'm blending all of my eyelid to prime them and this is a really simple makeup look it has really simple eyes because I like to go a little bit bolder with the lips on my nose and I get a lot of breakouts around my nose area like right here and I found that waxing let's just do a little like you know impromptu skincare I find that waxing my eyebrows makes me break out a lot it took me about a month to clear up that those breakouts I had so I've learned my lesson and I started the plucking journey of eyebrows That's nicely blended out. Now I'm going to grab my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. If you guys are wondering, my makeup mirror is from Ikea. And it's going to blend out anything else around the edges of the concealer. And just where else I put it. And actually I've worn this makeup look before to like my friend's Sweet 16. And it just, it holds up nicely for my skin tone. I don't want to say my skin, my skin type, which I have combination in. You guys been watching the Olympics? I have Go Canada Go, right, you know. I'm going to ask nicely blend it out. I'm going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, or what's left of it, because it was actually perfectly intact on Thursday, and I came home, there was a bunch of clothes um, in my room, and I guess the powder, I found the powder was there, and I kind of took the clothes away, and it fell down, and I like, you know, let out a little scream, and it cracked up, but it's still really good, <sighs> so I'm not going to have to get a new one soon, but you know, it still works fine, so, I don't really want to fix it anyway, I'm just, I just don't want to, I'm just going to use it like this, kind of like a loose powder, and I'm just going to set up my under eye area and my eyelids. Just around my T zone and need some extra coverage. My nose just feels really shiny right now. And the lighting is changing because I like using natural lighting. Yeah. So my skin looks actually pretty flawless on camera, yay. But it is not in real life like at all. <laughs> I think my Eco Tooth Total Face Brush or powder brush, I'm just gonna dip it in the thing in the powder. And I'm just gonna see powder and it's gonna dust off the rest of my face because my skin isn't like oily all over but my cheeks get really oily for some reason like they're not dry my nose tends to get really dry and it comes with breakouts but that's where i get my combination skin from and just a little bit around the neck 
just all formed it out. Ooh, ooh, eye bird. I think I have some leftover <laughs> mascara and um, eyeliner left from last night when I went out with my friends. So I'm going to take my Scandal, Normal Scandalize Cream Shadow Stick in, it's actually, what? yeah, it's 24 hour waterproof, I guess. And it's an 002 bulletproof beige. And it's really pretty, it's not really beige, kind of more um, goldish with champagne color. It's really pretty. I find it's the most wearable one from the collection. And so I've got an olive oil eyelid. And I wish this was a, like, a retractable one. Because you can't roll it up into sharpening it with your, um, sharpener. Which I guess is a good reason to use the really big fat side of your eyeliner sharpener. And this is just retractable, plus mess. Put that all over the lid. And then I'm just going to put the lid back on it. One thing I really don't like is that it tends to kind of, you just kind of scratch it up on the edges. I'm just going to pat that with my finger. Because um, it does, this does crease a little bit, but it works really good as a primer. So, when it's with something else. And just going to take my the Body Shop eyeshadow in 04 Eye Shimmer. I think this is actually called Eye Shimmer for some reason. And it's just a really cool kind of white. It's not, it's kind of, it's multicolored, but it's not coming up on this lighting. And I'm just going to take my Eco Tools shader brush, and I'm just going to dip that in there. It's really pretty. It's like a it peachy tone to it. It's just multicolored, and it's more silver too, with the undertones and pink. I like that. I'm going to tap off the excess. I'm just going to apply it all over the lid. Pack on your shadows first, even though they're not loose, and then you just take a little bit more, and then you just swoop. And I can bring this all the way up to the brow bone because it is such a kind of a clear color. So I put on the rainbow scandalized first. And I'm just going to take some more, put it on the other lid. Sweep that up to the brow bone. And it's a really nice kind of a peachy eyeshadow kind of thing to your eyes. So I'll actually use a peach eyeshadow. Wow, the sun went down literally two seconds. Like that's so weird. Okay, I'm just gonna blend that into the inner corners too. And then now I'm gonna take my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer and Sunny Cult Classic on YouTube. I'm going to take my blue 24 angle contour brush for blush. I'm not using it for bronze because I don't really wear blush. I'm going to tap off the excess. This is highly pigmented, like most NYC powders are. I'm going to contour my face. Oh, too much. My temples, my, oh, my chin, my jawline, my little bit of my nose. And that's it. I'm going to take my Eagle Tooth brush again and just kind of blend it all out. I find that this brush, since it's not synthetic hair, I think it is synthetic, but it's really kind of, I don't know, discontinued it. It was on sale. I guess it's kind of cheap. And it kind of sheds and it kind of pulls prop way down into it, so you can't really blend with it. Whoops, keep picking my mirror. And blend that out. Sorry, I have the Olympics on, it's on mute, and I'm just, it's, you know, last day pretty much, and yeah. Are you guys ready for that hockey game? Canada versus Sweden. I know I am. I'm just gonna, and I blended that out nicely. And then now I'm going to take my little eyeliner from the Call Institute in some brown. I'm just going to line my upper lash line very slightly. And try to wing it up the edges. But we'll see how that works out for me. And I don't really wear eyeliner. Also for like a really special occasion. So most of my friends don't really wear eyeliner, so I don't know. If we wear it together, it's kind of more fun. And eyeliner is not really something I have to have in my collection. Uh, and I think the hardest part for eyeliner for me is aligning both your eyes really evenly. Ooh. I've tried every trick, like, you know, the whole dotting your eyes and then connecting them. Yeah, no, not for me. <laughs> Especially with the liner, does not work out well for me. 
Oh my gosh, it's really hard to make a nice even line. I love the way it looks too. So I do it. I prefer gel liner, but I don't have any brown gel liner. If you want a waterline or tight line your eyes, that's really fine too. I just don't prefer not to do that. And yeah. I'm going to take my Fresh Supernova Mascara. It's just a mini one that I'm trying to use up. It's actually my favorite mascara so far. And I from high end. I don't really like the benefit. They are real. So I like this one a lot better. And I'm just going to apply that. And I only have one shade. And you can't actually buy this at Sephora. Even though I got mine at Sephora. This came with their face wash in a little pack for like 13 bucks. And yeah. I'm just going to put this on for my lashes we can buy it from their website and I recommend it. it's really good and so I'm just going to add it to my upper lashes and then my lower lashes just a little bit wait a minute I'm going to add shower today I think my eyeliner is even oops I really wish I filmed this earlier in the day. I put on mascara really weirdly, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I find this mascara reapplies really nicely. Just like the Maybelline one by one because it's more of a softer formula. I guess and the brush is really soft too, so I really like that. And that's the eyes. And for the lips, I will just be taking, did I do everything? Yes, I have. And just for the lips, I'm going to be taking my Color Institute Red Lipstick. And I really like this color, actually. I've had a couple of red lipsticks, and they just haven't worked out well for me. I really like this one. If you guys have any suggestions of really good, like, blue tone lipsticks, please leave them in the comments down below and subscribe too while you're at it. I'm just going to do it for my lips. And as you can see, this was more of a nighttime look because the eyes are a little bit more intense and you have a red lip. But, you know, if you're totally for this all day long for like the daytime, you can totally do that. Like, go ahead. You know, it's your makeup. Makeup is to express yourself. But this is more of a nighttime look for me. I've been wearing this and that's it. And I've been wearing this... I've been wearing this makeup look a lot lately because it, February is week 16 month apparently for my best friends. Don't know what their parents are thinking. And yeah, and also I'm just going to do the hair. This is my natural hair was, and I just kind of combed it out with a comb. And I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to style it a little, little. And I don't usually part my hair like this but my hair naturally falls on this side of my head. I usually like to part it the other way but yeah. And then this one, whoop, this one belongs over here. You guys ever had it those, those strands of hair, they try to pull over to the other side, and they somehow, you know like they belong on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to put my hair back here. A little over it. And that's it. Oops, a little dark. And that's the completed look, and I hope you guys liked it, and yeah subscribe tell me your favorite red lipsticks that are blue tone because i i have a cooler tone so i need blue tone lipsticks and they also make your teeth look whiter and yeah so comment subscribe and yeah see you guys later bye